Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can do the backup of your uh, running configuration on 48 firewall as well as how you can restore the configuration from your external TFTP, FTP or USB flash drive. So let's get started. As you can see on my screen, I have the TFTP64 installed on on my server and it is you know using this folder web and then you can see the content inside the content inside the folder so let's close this anyways we are going to save the configuration from the 40 gig firewall into this directory so you should be able to see the content inside the show directory so let's get started the command is pretty simple so it's execute backup config and then you will have to specify the option if you click question mark it is going to show you multiple options like flash ftp tftp usb so i'm going to use tftp So the command is execute backup config. I'm going to use TFTP. You will have to specify the name of the configuration file. It is going to be with the extension CONF. And then you will have to specify the IP address of the TFTP server. And you can see it on my screen, 192.168.0.1.1.0. And then if you want, you can specify the password to protect your configuration file. And then hit enter button. It is going to save the file, you can see here, on my screen, TFTP64 is showing that it received a file with the name 40k.conf. So that is how you basically perform the backup of the current running configuration. So at the same time, you can restore your configuration okay so if you have a backup configuration file and because of any issues on the firewall unit you if in case you know are not able to do uh, things that you were able to do it previously so you can you know go back to that configuration and you can load that configuration so the command is almost the same so instead of backup you'll have to use restore so that you can restore your uh, configuration. Okay, and then you'll have to specify the option whether you are going to restore it from the USB, FTP, flash, TFTP. So I'm going to use it as TFTP. And then you'll have to specify the uh, string, which is the file name. So I've seen uh, issues with the FTP uh, server, whereas in, you know, the firewall is not able to read the file if you miss the extension part of the file. So I would recommend you to, you know, copy the file and then paste it. And then specify the IP address. And if there is a password associated with that particular configuration, then you can specify that, else uh, it is going to fail. So since uh, while taking the configuration backup, I didn't mention the password. So I don't have to mention the password one more time. So I'm going to click enter and it is going to ask me 
whether you want to proceed because it is going to reboot the uh, firewall. So if you can see here, I have selected yes. So again, you can see here, I lost the connectivity to the firewall because it is rebooting. And you know, in order to apply the new configuration file, it is going to reboot and then it is going to take up the new configuration, which is there in 40 gates or UNF. So make sure you know this procedure, else your uh, firewall will uh, boot and you will lose the connectivity. So let's wait for the firewall to come up. You can see here, I lost the connectivity to the firewall. And it might take some time for the firewall to come up and I use the new configuration file. Okay, you can see here on my screen that I'm able to ping the firewall IP. So I should be able to log into the firewall and the firewall is having the configuration applied as well, which is there in the 48.cunf. All right, that's all in this video and please do subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and stay safe. Have a good day.